All right, so we got a lot of money. 500k. Yeah, we got to swap something up. Got to get a better gun, but I really do like melee. I am definitely running with melee. Normally never use a shield, so I'm going to remove that. Um, I have two different cores, two different models. Oh, we're using this one for the firearm specialization, right? Better tracking. Part shop. Let's see, core. And arms. Legs. Oh, we can become like a spider now? That's cool, and a tank? Yeah, there's a tank. Okay, shit's getting real interesting now, boys. Whoa. So a lot of HP, obviously. Very heavy. Crazy shit. We can be a spider, too. This model focuses on a mobility to enable hovering-based fire support. Huh. Definitely trying out the tank though, man. We gotta try the tank. We're getting tanky, alright? I've been waiting on this for way too long. Booster specialized for long distance cruising, developed by Schneider. Maximizes assault boost, thrust, and energy efficiency to provide excellent performance when rapidly closing in on a target from long range. Cool. So, more thrust. Or more movement speed, right? Sure, I'll take it. What's this for? Oh, better aim at certain distances? I see. I like having close ranged, uh, more close range assist. Burst rifle. Eh. Maybe we can try this. Laser rifle. All right, we can charge this guy up. Pulse gun? Rapid fire pulse gun. More total, total rounds as well. I want to try out the pulse gun here. See what that's like. Let's go into assembly now. Pulse gun. Uh, legs. We're becoming a tank. Oh, true. We don't have a booster now. Right. We can fly around. I just realized. So it's better for, like, heavy weapons. I see. Being heavy is kind of fun. So yeah, I might equip the bazooka now, again. But at the same time, I want the bazooka on the other hand, and I also want to still keep the melee. So, I don't know. Alright, well, let's try the pulse gun out. And the bazooka. Damn, now I kind of regret buying the tank a little bit, because... I don't know, I kind of like, um... I kind of like going light. I'm realizing I don't like the bazooka a lot, and the tank is intended for, like, heavy play. But at the same time, you don't have to, like, use heavy weapons. 
can almost just kind of like use light weapons on it. Oh, oopsies. Yeah, this is what I want to be in. Still get the benefit of having a lot of health. Let's keep the shield on, because why not? Alright, let's see how this goes. Let's do some training. Assembling an AC. Pilot a training craft to learn its behavior and features. Okay, there are more training missions. Let's do those. For some extra moolah. Extra goodies. I may just realize I can't turn my AC on. Okay, sort of can if I aim it at a really specific place. There we go. What do we got here? Double trigger. Uh, one way to assemble an AC is to install enranged weapons to both hands. This is known as a double trigger style among veteran pilots. Okay, so it's giving us like a taste of the different kinds of builds we can do in this one. Uh, double trigger assemblies using machine guns or similar weapons can destroy enemies at a reliable pace and are suited for taking on multiple enemies at once. RT and LT for rapid fire. Okay. There we go. Oh, this booster's kind of sexy. Holy shit. Whee! All the likes of this robot. This is really nice. Wait, how do we reload? Or restart program. Or another control for reloading. Let's go. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this is fun. Deal wielding is always a good time. Especially if they're the same weapon or class. Okay, it tells us how to reload after. Okay, so it's RT and Y, I see. So, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Now I'll remember that. That helps to know a lot. Okay. This type of booster affects mobility, of course. So it's equipped with a with a short QB reload time spec, which allows it to outspace, which allows it outspace enemies with consecutive quick boost usage. Okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. Basically, we're really fast. Yeah, I feel like I might just end up going for this kind of a build in this game, which is kind of like crazy for me because I normally like doing big, heavy, tanky builds in games, but uh, in this one, I'm. Having more fun being light, or being lighter. Generator installed to your AC greatly influences the rest of the assembly, from the selection of usable parts to the basic performance of the AC. Okay. So a generator that prioritizes the incapacity in order to allow extensive use of aerial maneuvers and quick boosts. Okay. So, all right, the generator allows us to do sh more shit in the sky. Very cool. Let's just stay up there for longer. Duly noted. FCS install to the AC effects target uh, tracking at close, medium, long range. Uh, this is equipped with close range combat things. And, uh, okay, cool. Neato burrito. So it's kind of like a shotgun. Or no, it fires like a volley of explosives, but designed more so for close ranged. So like, yeah, if you try using it far away, yeah, it's not going to work because there's too much spread. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so the weapons... 
for before range weapons to specialize in concentrated fire and medium range. Okay, so it's medium to close almost. Awesome. Nice. Actually feels fun to hold all the triggers and all the bumpers at the same time. Both triggers and both bumpers. And fire everything. <laughs> you just melt stuff. Pretty dope. like that a lot. Cool, new booster. New parts. I guess I got the parts to make that kind of a build, or at least some of them. Let's do more of these training missions. Cool, man. So the rest of these missions are basically for the different builds we can do. So that one was like a light sort of like mosquito build if you will i don't know how else to describe it but then this one's something else reverse joint parts oh we saw this in a shop what do these do so they're good at jumping you jump really high high jumps okay oh that's so cool <laughs> got these big jump boosts with this one like that Oh, what the heck is our right weapon? Whoa. Holy shit. That's a really cool looking gun. Got like a plasma pistol. Area attacks. Uh, yeah, damage upon impact in an area. So got some kind of like crazy missile we can fire. I like that. Yeah, area based damage from the shoulder. Oh, see, this is what I want to use instead of a bazooka. Something um, that's on my shoulder that's like a bazooka, but not in my uh, my hand. I want to carry, like, light weapons, but have, like, a heavy weapon on my shoulder. Oopsies. Getting wrecked a lot. This thing takes a while to reload. So we got a plasma pistol and like what's the one on the left? Oh, they're both pistols, I see. Cool. Like deal wheeling pistols. Weapon types. Weapons fall into one of three categories depending on the type of damage they inflict. Kinetic explosive energy. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know that. So I knew obviously they're explosive things, but not kinetic and energy. So the defensive performances of ACs and other craft varies for each of these damage types, determining their susceptibility or resistance. Ah. Uh, okay. So obviously they're like weaknesses and strengths. So certain uh, enemies are going to be weaker to like certain types of damage. Man, deal wheeling pistols is kind of fun, not going to lie. The pistols that fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. Energy weapons and overheating. Right, the energy weapons produce heat. Uh, the weapon will be disabled when overheated. Um, okay. Monitor your rate of fire. So you not overheat it. I see. Right, so we don't want it to like enter the red zone. We can see where it's at when we're locked onto the enemy. What about when we're not? Oh, you're still, you still have the, the reticle in front of you to like let you know. Okay, cool. Alright. Kind of an interesting build. Ricocheting will occur when enemies have high defense, significantly reducing the damage they take. Try attacking at a closer range to counteract this. Or use explosive weapons. Yeah, we've kind of seen that ricochet thing before. Yeah. Man, deal building is just so fun. <laughs> Liking it a little too much. Yeah. Liking that a little too much too. My shoulder weapon. 
Interesting. That's kind of cool. We're firing off those, like, barriers that the last boss we fought was using. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Getting to know all these little builds. Nice, right, so we got one of those pistols. Okay, let's see. I'm excited for this one. This is the spider build, I think, right? I want to see what this guy can do. Oh, man, my AC. Tetrapod parts. Uh, tetrapod leg units have high loading capacity and enable AC builds equipping multiple heavy weapons. Uh, tetrapod ACs can switch to hover mode after setting off from the ground. Leg units remain suspended in the air for some time. Oh, no way! So you can, like, fly around. You can, like, stay in the air. That's so sick. Okay. Okay, can't wait for this. It's like the most uh, unique build that we've seen so far. Next to the tank, of course. Okay, so when you're in the air, you hit A again? Yeah, I get it. Like, turning hover mode either on or off. Okay, I like this a lot. Being able to, like, fly around like this. And then we can, like, stop. Hold on. When we boost... Can we stay in hover mode? Yeah, we can. You just have to double tap A again. That's cool. So yeah, for like the last mission we did to S rank it, this could be so handy. You would just like, uh, for the for the tank we fought, go into like hover mode. So you, you would do this. And then boost over to like his noggin. And then hover mode again. And then shoot him from up top, the battery at the back. Or like melee him too if you want. I wonder if you can melee, like, if you do a melee charge slash, it would automatically take you out of this. Okay. Can absorb charge attacks and fire from heavy weapons such as grenade launchers, cause more recoil than other attacks, forcing the AC to consume a firing stance. Tetrapods are capable of absorbing this kind of recoil, allowing these attacks to be executed during movement. That's cool. Okay. So you don't actually have to, uh, stop to shoot heavy weapons. So, yeah, that's sick, man. I like this. I like this build a lot. I might just play with this build. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Tester pot is sick. Tester pot is very sick. No oh, cheese. Oh, we can, like, fire heavy weapons so effortlessly. Yeah, true. Now we can probably fire linear rifles, too, without stopping. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm liking this build. Because one thing I noticed about, uh... My car in AC is that when I'm using my heavy weapons, I stop to, like, shoot them, and the enemy's moving, so it's already gone before the, the shot can land. And that's one of the reasons why I've not been uh, super enjoying using the heavy weapons so far. Okay, hover mode allows you to maintain a high altitude, in turn making it easier to establish a line of fire and lock on without geographical obstruction. True. I can see that being a big benefit of this. You look over walls. A nice multi-lock attack. Okay, so... Firing off a bunch of these rockets. Sick. Very sick.
All right. All righty, all right. Nice. That was a fun belt, man. I like that one a lot. That might be my favorite one so far. War tank ACs. Okay. Now there's a tank one. Last but certainly not least. Really, really hyped to try out tank. Tank parts and strategy. Uh, tank leg units are heavily armored and boast excellent loading capacity. In addition to lending themselves to highly durable builds, they are also good candidates for high firepower assemblies. Tank type ACs are capable of absorbing recoil, which allows them to fire heavy weapons without entering a firing stance, of course, like the tetrapod. I'm assuming it can't fly. Oh no, it's still, it can still fly? What the heck? Oh my god, this is OP. <laughs> I now see why everyone's playing tank. There's almost like no trade-off. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Got these crazy miniguns on too. It's like the perfect tank build that they're running here for the training mission that they're allowing us to run here. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. You can shoot up like a bunch of missiles and they come crashing back down. Oh, you can drift? That's sick. Uh, move left stick in the direction you want to face immediately after a quick boost. So you do that. Neat. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> the drift is so dope. Let's go, man. Let's go, 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 go. This is too dope. Sorry, buddies. Looks like I can fly. And you can't. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Ow. They definitely hate me. Damn. Those are taking a hot minute to go down. Okay, not for long though. Yeah, this is awesome because as soon as you whittle them down or get them into stagger, stagger mode, uh, max out their stagger gauge, you can like Will their like actual HP down so fast? That's so sick. Okay. We're deader than dead, my friend. Hope you're enjoying the deader than dead life. Okay. Good shit. So now I have like the gist of how everything works. Every build. And yeah. <laughs> I I thought the the spider or whatever it was called, the, the terra top thingy mabobber. What's it called again? Uh the tetrapod would be my favorite one because of the its ability to stay flying or hover. But no, it's definitely the tank. <laughs> These just melt things so fast. And you can still fly. It's this one. Assemble your own AC and complete evaluation? That's cool. This is advanced training. Adaptive assemblies. Oh, this is my current uh, setup, right? During real missions, you can expect enemy reinforcements and other changes to the situation. The test of an advanced mercenary is in their ability to adjust to a wide range of combat scenarios and adapt their AC assembly to meet the needs of the mission. True that. 
my god, what the fuck? We're shooting bubbles. What the hell is this? All right, we can still use our uh, cutter. We can still shoot our bubbles. And we can still slice and dice. Thank you very much. Oh my god, we have so much HP though. We are literally, we are so tanky, literally. <laughs> I don't know if I like this gun, though. What the hell? You gotta be super close range, I think, right? Yeah. It's like a really close range build. Because we got the sword, and we got this close range plasma shooter thing. But oh, it overheats. Interesting. Got that overheating thing. And yeah, we can stick with long range with our uh, cannons at the back. We can maybe put... Uh, buy certain parts that allow for that to happen, and then I'm gonna play close range with our uh, left and right hand weapons. Damn, okay, we gotta get around this guy. Or we can just do that. I'm not sure how I feel about this right hand weapon right now. <laughs> Especially for the tank. I'm sure there's like a, a good use for it, but right now I feel like I'm just blowing bubbles. <laughs> and doing not much else beyond that. This sword is so OP though. Oh, Meng. Get back here, you. This man is flipping and dipping. And skipping. Oh, rip my right hand weapon is gone. It is out of ammunition. Damn it. Damn you. Son of a bitch. Ow. No. Yeah, beat a man. I only have my melee now on my rockets, but they suck. Okay, if I boost dash, I can probably get in there and... Or not. Ow, that really hurt. <laughs> Shot me right in the eyeball. Screw you, man. Come on. Yeah, I'm definitely just sticking with the sword for the rest of my playthrough as at least one of the weapons, because of the fact that I can run out of ammo and anything. I'm so dead. Or not. But that's not the end of this mission, is it? They're going to send someone else. I know that is the end, thankfully, because I was out of everything. Oh, that's all the training missions? Okay. Cool. Incoming comms. Incoming comms. Congratulations on your certification. You have proven your skills by completing the entire combat training regimen. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. All Mind anticipates excellent performance. An excellent performance you shall receive. Nice, entire training program has been complete. We got an emblem. Alright. Not a whole lot of missions or... I'm sorry, training missions in this game. I can actually appreciate that. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Uh, let's check out our bills. Now that we got all those uh, new things. From the training missions. Maybe we got something good. Who knows? Definitely don't want to use a pulse gun, that's for sure.
Oh, okay. I didn't read the fine print carefully enough. <laughs> it's good for destroying um, defenses, right? Like shields and stuff. Yeah, this is, I don't even, this is so scuffed running this. Hmm. Laser handgun. Oh, sure, we unlocked this from the training mission. The Curtis. Got that handgun. True that. Hold on. What else do we have? Oh, true, the grenade launcher. Holy shit. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, we'll take this. But no, I actually really like the pulse blade as well. So I'll hold on to that. Never mind. Nice. We got the vertical missile launcher from the training mission. That's amazing. Definitely want that. Regular missile launcher. These are different bodies, right? Uh, ease of use. Right, we're playing with tanks. We're playing the tank build. Those are these the boosters. Uh huh. This is for initial thrust. Long distance cruising. Oh, we have nothing on right now. Oh, true. Tanks don't. Yeah, you can't use boosters with tanks. Makes a lot of sense. Alright, this is good for close range assists. Uh huh. That's good for long range. It's good for both medium and long. Yeah, we'll stick with that one. Okay. Energy capacity. A lot more with this guy. Recharge is really slow, though. Well, that's fine. Okay. Getting on in the parts shop, and I'm actually going to sell some stuff here. Particularly this thing. I don't want to run that. Let's buy a new gun. You get the bazooka on the right arm if you want. <laughs> burst rifle. Let's try this burst rifle out. We could. Attack power. 166. All right, let's try the burst rifle. See how that goes. Assembly. Burst rifle. I'm gonna sell some of these other guns I don't want right now. And then maybe buy like another shoulder cannon. Laser cannon's kind of cool. Two cell dual missile launcher. Holy shit. Yeah, we want this for the right side, obviously. Active homing missile. Wow. Plasma missile launcher. There's so many different things. Oh my goodness. This is the same as the other one, right? That we have on? I think so. Holy shit. That's a crazy... Crazy, crazy piece. Okay. Actually, anyways, let's just jump into this. Any who's, anyways.
Mm-hmm. Alright, this is Retrieve the Combat Logs. Got a job for you, 621. New job. One of the Balaam companies has put in a request. Attention, Gun 13 Raven! This request comes from our affiliate Dafung. Dafung. We're conducting an investigation into the Vespers. Archibus is augmented human squad. Augmented human our squad. Is on their fourth squad leader, V4 Rusty. Sweep the route Rusty took during Operation Wall. Oh, cool. That's our friend. And retrieve combat logs from the wrecks he left on his way in. The wall is now under Archibus's control, and they stationed their MT squads there for the coral survey. As such, he'll be targeting the brief window where their main force is deployed elsewhere. Keep an eye on the time and retrieve as many logs as you can. That concludes the briefing. <laughs> that concludes the briefing. We expect prompt results, Gun 13. And prompt results I shall deliver. Love the buzzing sounds that play in the background when you're like in the mission briefing screen. Okay, assembly. I don't think we put on. No, we did put the gun on. Cool. Let's do this. Also, let's save this new guy here. Let's name this tank. That's good. Let's get this started. Six two one. You should be used to Rubicon by now. Time to take a break from shooting up the place. <laughs> it's funny he says that, right? As we create the most explodey tanky bill that's meant for shooting up the place. Okay. Search the nearby racks for combat logs. Wait, why am I going backwards when I'm trying to go forwards? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so we have a time limit. Retrieve combat logs from racks. Oh, the more logs you get, the higher your score, so you gotta get as many as possible in the time limit. Cool. Who else is that guy? Doesn't matter. He's dead. <laughs> okay, sure, and we're using our new burst rifle weapon now. That out of the way, bozos. Okay, so how does this burst rifle work? Do we have to like charge it up and then fire a burst? Yeah, we do. I see. Some more evidence on what the coral situation looks like. Okay. Out of the way. Alright. Where's the other wreckage? The other Rikage. Is it up here? It's not. Only two logs. What the hell? Some more down there. So cool how we can fly around as a tank. I can't get over how sick that is. Yeah, a couple more down here. Open fire. Kill the intruder. Yeah, I'm actually realizing I'm not a fan of running the blade on the tank because obviously you're really slow to move around, so you'll take a while to get to your target and then melee him. There was a wreckage up there, wasn't there? No, uh, there was not. Coming through. Some little dudes. Keep an eye on the clock. Either avoid combat or make it quick. 
Trying to do both. Who the hell are those guys? Bosses? Alright. Just... Passing through. Nothing to see here, guys. <laughs> Last time we saw yellow exclamation marks. Oh my god, that was cursed. We were stuck in a long-ass skill check in mission one. <laughs> Okay. Where's this other wreckage at? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Not that way. Come on, we see one more log. We got 40 seconds left. Who are you, man? Get out of here. What the heck are you? Not sure that's that one. This one that goes forward. I know. Where's the last one? There it is. Thank goodiness. Wonderful. Worthless. Now what? Wait. Huh? Oh, I guess like the other ones are the optional ones or... Like, are we good? <laughs> if we run out of time, I think we need to get at least five, right? We definitely missed them up there. Okay, easy. Simple little job where you don't have to shoot a lot of things up, but it still told me a lot about the build I'm currently running, which is that it's not great. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. No, sir. Kind of don't like where we're running right now. I thought the burst rifle was like you could hold it down and it would shoot like three round bursts. Oh, oopsies. I skipped that. Got 13 Ravens. Decent intel on V4. I'll report this to Commander Michigan. You do that. Additionally, I'll introduce myself. Gun six red. But you can call me sir. <laughs> you can call me sir. I'll wow. Be among Balaam's best, even if I am stuck whipping you independents into shape. All right, pretentious prick. <laughs> I'll call you sir. I'm put you to work. I'll put you to work. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. Granting authorization to perform ACOS upgrades. New Addition, upgrades. All Mind hereby invites you to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Arena? The Arena is a virtual combat simulator designed to support the development of registered mercenaries. Arena sounds cool as hell. It also serves as a benchmark to appraise and rank the mercenaries active on Rubicon. We look forward to your participation. I look forward to trying it out. Yeah, arena and OS tuning. What is this? The arena. Fight virtual battles against copies of ACs created using all mine's mercenary craft data from the arena menu. Win arena battles to obtain OST chips. Opponent AC data and opponent emblems. You can use OST chips to perform OS upgrades. Okay. What is this? G6 Red, Invincible Rummy. Uh, Rummy is utterly addicted to coral-based drugs and is perpetually at all state. He has convinced himself that he's an invincible demigod. Okay, so there's like bounties almost? He's got like a foot as his emblem. What? Mad Stomp. And 29F? I, that definitely means, means 29 female, right? <laughs> Let's check this out. I oh, definitely don't want to begin, actually. Got to change up what we got here. Uh, Turner. Let's run a bazooka plus... Crazy bazooka plus... Uh... SMG? Runs out of ammo really fast, though, is the only thing. Laser handgun, handgun. Burst rifle. I like the linear rifle, the high speed rifles in the game. Okay, yeah, let's try this out. 
do this little arena mission here. Should be interesting. Welcome to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Damn, what the hell is that AC? First set Holy. AC. Mad Stomp. Call sign Invincible Rummy. <laughs> so you fight like the, the copies evaluation. of actual ACs here. Main system activating combat mode. Uh, they're like mini bosses you gotta fight. Very cool. Invincible, he calls himself. Well, let's see just how invincible this bozo is, shall we? Let's fight. Hiya! Better to taste my might, Bumblebee. <laughs> Ow, I'm sorry I called you that. How rude of me. Oh, whoopsie, is that I fucked up? I thought the linear rifle was something else. I thought it was the rifle we start the game with. It's the one you have to charge up, actually. Nice. Right in the face. Oh, he got me right in the face, too. Uh-oh. Oh man, but I love the linear rifle with the tank now because you don't gotta like stop in place to like shoot the charge shot anymore. That is lovely. Screw you. Nice. Yeah, linear rifle plus bazooka seems to be the way to go. Target destroyed. Liking this, man. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Hey, let's fire out these rockets. As a celebratory measure. Also, um, okay, cool. Also, I was going to say, I normally never use my rockets. I should. Okay, so we got two chips here. Got his emblem. All right, cool. So yeah, they're like mini bosses off to the side. We can fight for extra bonuses. Liking that. Now, what's OS t uh, tuning? Expand OSD chips in your possession to upgrade your AC's OS from the OS tuning menu. Upgrading the OS unlocks features and improves functionality. Oh. OSC chips can be obtained in the arena. Right, okay, so you fight in the arena for these chips. And then we can upgrade our operating system. Which allows us to... Oh my gosh, that's crazy. We unlock new mechanics altogether, like new combat abilities. That's sick, I didn't even know this is a thing. Holy, man. So the first one is boost kick. For one chip. Unlocks the ability to perform a boost kick. Boost kicks hit with heavy impact by combining the speed of an assault boost with the sheer weight of the AC. Holy. What is this? Can replace shoulder weapons with additional hand weapons? Any? Switch right hand weapon, switch left hand weapon. Wait a minute, so you put your weapons in your hands and your on your shoulders? And vice versa? <laughs> or no, okay, I get it. Oh no 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 no, I get it. So you're you get holsters on your shoulders for additional weapons. So if one of your weapons runs out of ammo, you can bring out the other one in your shoulders. That's cool. This is exactly the kind of thing I wanted. Weight control unlocks the ability to sortie when AC is overburdened and to manually purge weapons. Manually purge. Oh, we saw the control for that. Purging reduces weight load and improves speed. Uh huh. Very cool. Perform manual aiming. Allows for manual reticle control, but practical usage calls for experience technique, meaning basically you have to be good or else this is useless. <laughs> Don't suck. So hold for manual aiming. That's so interesting. The ability to aim manually without target assist is an ability you have to unlock. Then quick turn. Core expansion, we saw this. Expansion slots. Uh, core expansion assault armor. And allows it to be installed. Assault armor creates a pulse explosion centered on the AC, canceling out incoming enemy fire and creating a damaging area of effect shockwave. Oh, that's cool. 
And you can upgrade for more charges. Got lots of these, man. Lots of things to work with here. Pulse protection. Barrier in a fixed position, providing cover from enemy fire until the barrier reaches its durability or time limit. Cool. Pulse armor. Barrier that trails ESC, dramatically increasing defensive performance until it exceeds its durability or time limit. Terminal armor. Triggers a pulse barrier when the AC's AP reaches its limit, greatly enhancing defense until the barrier reaches its durability or time limit. So wait, this is like a second win. Oh yeah, for five chips. Damn. No wonder it's so expensive. Terminal armor. So... When you're so when you're out of HP, so when the AP reaches its limit, you get like this barrier, and when the barrier runs out, you die or something. Activates automatically when AP falls to zero. So many things. Wow. Okay, and these are like passives. So, better repair kit effectiveness. Damage reduction. Precision of attacks against staggered enemies, increasing damage dealt by direct hits. Cool. So, more damage on staggered enemies. More melee damage. Fire control tuning. So basically lots of upgrades and passives and new mechanics. Okay, let's sort by the different categories. Right now, what I want is this and... Terminal armor. They both sound really good. So I'm going to save up. Definitely saving up. Yeah, let's take care of the other two. Get some more chips. Uh, were we happy with our build last time? Let's see, we had the bazooka. Linear rifle. Yeah, it was good. I was really happy with it. Because I like how these uh, slow, clunky weapons that usually freeze you in place for a second to fire them. No longer have you freezing in place. Rank F. That means you suck. <laughs> oh my god, that launcher does not look like it sucks. Burn pickaxe. Call sign. Looks like a box. <laughs> and that's Dunham. That's a cool emblem, Dunham. Alright, Dunham, more like dumb him. Am I right? We're gonna dumb him down to nothing. We're gonna pulverize him in ash. Let's go. Sorry, kiddo. This ain't personal. Nice, Ill. Whee! <laughs> Love driving a tank around in this. It's so fun. What the hell? What's happening to my bazooka? They're not firing? I have to reload it. There we go. Wait, what the hell? Why can't I reload? Not able to shoot with it. Maybe it just takes really long. Understandably. Cool. 
Damn it. Not cool. Don't have your repair kits. Oh, nice. You can hide in the little trench here. He's ready for out the first boss in the game. Getting a lot of PTSD flashbacks. Nice. Holy shit, he went right into that one. Damn, the reload time for this launcher is brutal, though. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Can't seem to reload it. Hitting Y plus the trigger. Four chips? Oh, nice. Thought I said only two. Okay. I will gladly take it. I will gladly take him and bake him. So now we got four. Okay, final mission. Let's get this guy. GS Red. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 27, rank Damn. F. Final evaluation. Checked out in those uh, military fatigue colors. Subject AC, Hermit. Call sign, Gun 6 Red. Alright, Gun 6 Red. I'm gonna gun, gun you in the face. Evaluation. You're gonna be Gun 6 dead. Ooh. This is kinda sec. Activating combat mode. Activating combat mode. Let's go. Whee! Where is he? The hell? Where is he at? Get on out here, man. Don't have all day. <laughs> don't have all day and I don't have all night. Let's fight. Sweet. Oh, nice. Got some nice direct hits with those. Damn it. A mobile son of a bitch. Okay, charge up. Damn it. Nice. Hit him with those. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Nice. I know that too. I don't know why I tried that. <laughs> That's definitely not going to be a direct hit with that bazooka. Ow. Ow for you. Ow for you again. Damn it. I was hoping it would hit the invisible wall. <laughs> Obviously it won't. Shit. And as good at dodging. Those as dodges. Okay. Nice. That was incredibly fitting. The one time we got the missile to hit him. It's the last shot. This concludes F rank evaluation. Well done. Fantastic. First three arena fights are down. Down and dusted. Down in the dust. Okay. Confirm our rounds. Pepper rounds. Oh, the number of chips that shows you at the end is how much you currently have. Which is the number you currently have, not the ones that you got from the fight. I see. Congratulations. You have surpassed rank F. Thank you. We are glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All mind exists for all mercenaries. Glad to hear it.